The Cape's urban sprawl is home to thousands of animals, dogs, cats and even horses. There's absolutely no horsing around for these beauties because they're crucial to the informal economy. If, if the horse is not the right, I cannot go work. If the horse is sick, I cannot go work. If I don't give him food, I cannot go work the next day. Carties, as they become known on the streets of Cape Town, collect and ferry, among other things, scrap metal to earn a living. Some of these cart horse owners have been in this trade for generations. These noble steeds are fully permitted to be on the road. They're on the trot every day, plying neighbourhoods for something to sell. About every two weeks, horse owners swing by this equestrian charity to make hay while the sun shines. I put on them shoes that they can go work with them to get food also for the horses. The MPO runs entirely on public donations. For the more than 400 registered cart horses on their books, they offer basic vet services, a daily farrier and subsidised feeds. So a few years ago, we actually pushed legislation through. So horses that work on the roads within the city of Cape Town have to be registered with us, with the Cart Horse Protection Association. They are flight animals. They can move sideways at incredible speed. So don't hoot when you drive past them because they can get a fright and it can cause a serious accident. For these owners, the welfare of their horses is their main priority. Natalie Malchas, Filese, Cape Town.